retailing and type of retailers. Retailing. As final consumers, who are you buying the products from? It would be rare that you buy them from the manufacturers themselves. Most of the time, you are buying it from retailers. Retailers are businesses whose sales come primarily from retailing. It includes all the activities in selling products or services directly to final consumers for their personal non-business use. Retailing plays a very important role in most marketing channels. To connect brands to consumers, many marketers are now embracing the concept of shopper marketing. By using point-of-purchase promotions and advertising to extend brand equity to the last mile and encourage shoppers to make purchase decisions. Shopper marketing involves focusing the entire marketing process from product and brand development to logistics, promotion, and merchandising toward turning shoppers into buyers at the point of sale. The dramatic growth of online and mobile shopping has added new dimensions to shopper marketing. The retailing no longer takes place only in stores. Today, consumers are increasingly omnichannel buyers who make little distinction between in-store and online shopping, and for whom the path to a retail purchase runs across multiple channels. Thus, marketers need to integrate all these channels into creating a seamless shopping experience for buyers, ranging from online search and in-store, online and mobile shopping. Types of retailers can be classified by different criteria, ranging from amount of service classifications, product line classifications, relative price characteristics, and organizational approach. The first category is based on amount of service classifications. You can think of retailers who provide service at different levels. Self-service retailers serve customers who are willing to perform their own locate, compare, select process to save money. They include 7-Eleven, Family Mart, Walmart, and typical supermarkets. Limited service retailers provide more sales assistance because they carry more shopping goods about which customers need more information. Examples include Tesco Lotus, Big C, and Robinson. Full service retailers assist customers in every phase of the shopping process, resulting in higher costs that are passed on to the customers as higher prices. Examples include department stores and specialty stores such as Central Department Store and Siam Paragon. Major store retailers can also be classified by the length and breadth of their product assortments. Specialty stores, like shoe stores, carry narrow product lines with deep assortments within those lines. Department stores carry a wide variety of product lines. In recent years, department stores have been squeezed between more focused and flexible specialty stores on the one hand and more efficient, lower-priced discounters on the other. In response, many have added promotional pricing to meet the discount threat. Others have stepped up the use of store brands and single-brand designer shops to compete with specialty stores. Still, others are trying catalog, telephone, and online selling. Service remains the key differentiating factor. Retailers such as Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman Marcus, and other high-end department stores are doing well by emphasizing exclusive merchandise and high-quality service. Supermarkets are the most frequently visited type of retail store. Today, however, they are facing slow sales growth because of slower population growth and an increase in competition from discounters on the one hand and specialty food stores on the other. Convenience stores 
are small stores that carry a limited line of high turnover convenient goods. After several years of stagnant sales, these stores are now experiencing growth. They are shedding the image of a truck stop where men go to buy gas, beer, cigarettes, or hot dogs on a roller grill and are instead offering freshly prepared foods in a cleaner, safer, and more upscale environment. Superstores are much larger than regular supermarkets and offer a large assortment of routinely purchased food products, non-food items, and services. Walmart, Target, and other discount retailers offer supercenters or a very large combination food and discount stores. Recent years have also seen the rapid growth of superstores that are actually giant specialty stores, the so-called category killers. They feature stores the size of airplane hangers that carry a very deep assortment of a particular line. Category killers are found in a wide range of categories, including electronics, home improvement products, books, baby gear, toys, linens and towels, party goods, sporty goods, and even pet supplies. Finally, for many retailers, the product line is actually a service. Service retailers include hotels and models, banks, allies, restaurants, colleges, hospitals, movie theaters, tennis clubs, bowling alleys, repair services, hair salons, and dry cleaners. Service retailers in the U.S. are growing faster than product retailers. Retailers can also be classified according to the prices they charge. Most retailers charge regular prices and offer normal quality goods and customer service. Others offer higher quality goods and service at higher prices. Retailers that feature low prices are discount stores and off-price retailers. A discount store sells standard merchandise at lower prices by accepting lower margins and selling higher volume. Leading big box discounters such as Walmart, Costco, and Target now dominate the retail scene. However, even small box discounters are thriving in the current economic environment. Dollar General, the nation's largest small box discount retailer, makes a powerful value promise for the times. Save time, save money every day. As the major discount stores traded up, a new wave of off-price retailers moved in to fill the outer low price, high volume gap. Ordinary discounters buy at regular wholesale prices and accept lower margins to keep prices down. By contrast, off-price retailers buy at less than regular wholesale prices and charge consumers less than retail. Off-price retailers can be found in all areas, from food, clothing, and electronics to no frills banking and discount brokerages. The three main types of off-price retailers are independents, factory outlets, and warehouse clubs. Independent off-price retailers either are independently owned and run or are divisions of larger retail corporations. Although many off-price operations are run by smaller independents, most large off-price retailer operations are owned by bigger retail chains. Examples include store retailers such as TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Factory outlets are manufacturer-owned and operated stores by firms such as J. Crew, Gap, Levi Strode, and others. They sometimes group together in factory outlet malls and value retail centers. At these centers, dozens of outlet stores offer prices as much as 50% below retail on a wide range of mostly surplus discounted or irregular goods. Warehouse clubs or wholesale clubs or membership warehouses. Examples are Costco, Sam's Clubs, and BJ's 
they operate in huge, drafty warehouse-like facilities and offer few frills. However, they offer ultra-low prices and surprise deals on selected branded merchandise. Warehouse clubs have grown rapidly in recent years. These retailers appeal not only to low-income consumers seeking bargains on bare bones products, but also to all kinds of customers shopping for a wide range of goods, from necessities to extravagances. Although many retail stores are independently owned, others brand together under some form of corporate or contractual organization. There are corporate chain. Or two or more outlets that are commonly owned and controlled. Corporate chains appear in all types of retailing, but they are strongest in department stores, discount stores, food stores, drug stores, and restaurants. Voluntary chain. It is wholesaler-sponsored group of independent retailers engaged in group buying and merchandising. Retailer cooperative, or group of independent retailers who jointly establish a central buying organization and conduct joint promotion efforts. Franchise organization, or contractual association between a franchisor and franchisees 